How was your weekend? Good? Great! Let's chat a little, shall we? Last Wednesday was our fourth baseball game, and we played against LXA. And we lost. But that's okay, because next Wednesday is our fifth baseball game, and we're playing against Tyriel High. Blah! Starts at 3 p.m. at their field. So remember to wear your thick socks, gloves, and light long sleeves for those that have problems with blessed grounds. And remember to bring comfy pillows to sit on. And probably your own food and drinks. Don't want to risk the food and drinks being blessed. Otherwise, that's a whole nother can of worms we cannot have. And remember to cheer on our team into victory. See you all there. And now, it's time for the goodies of the month. So, who all here likes that Star Schmuck's coffee-like place? The one run by a goddess? Anyway, I have been trying these customizable parts of their app and found amazing drinks online you can try. Like one called Cookie Dough Frap. It has white chocolate mocha, white cream, cookie pieces, and caramel syrup on top. It looks and tastes like cookie dough. There's another one called Gold Ladies. I think it's based off an old TV show. I've only started watching the reruns because Principal McCannum says it's still amazing after all these years. And I gotta agree. Granted, it's a little dated, but a lot of it is still kind of relevant. But anyway, this drink is amazing! White chocolate mocha frap with blonde roast, vanilla syrup, hazelnut syrup, and caramel on top. It is amazing! I've had three last week. McAdam can tell you. It showed. <laughs> and I think that's it for the goodies of the month. And now, let's get to... Damn it, not my computer mouse. Hmm? Hey, Angie, you okay? Kind of waking up there. Is it a spirit? Hmm, guess not. She calmed down as soon as she got upset. Hey, Lexus. Hey, McAdam, what's up? Funny you should ask, because my ceiling fan isn't up anymore. Wait, your fan? That's above your desk? W wait, when did it come down? During your sports announcements. Holy shit, are you okay? Yeah, sprained my ankle a bit trying to dodge away, but I'm okay. I got a red with a cold pack on it and took something. I might be calling your uncle to come pick me up to go home early if the swelling doesn't go down. Really? Why do I not believe you would go home then? Normally, you would be right to be suspicious, but I am trying to take better care of myself, especially after almost getting hit by a fan. Yeah, really? Now go get off that foot then. If you need anything, I'll go get it. Just get your foot prompt up then. Relax. I'm going to do that right now. Hmm. I can't believe the bad luck we've been having lately. And don't say gremlins. We've been over this. The only way they could be real is if they are the fae. Meaning they had to be created by the queen of the fairies herself. And since she hasn't been seen by supernaturals or mortals in the last couple hundred years, I doubt she'd appear with new fae now. But now, Let's move on to the lost and found. Hmm, let's see. A book. Oh, I heard of this one. Losing You in the Past. It's about a woman waking up in her husband's past when he was a teenager and lives with him and his family. Finding out the only way to protect him is to keep his toxic father's attention away from him. This is a very dark book. This sounds like someone's dark RP idea that they couldn't tell anyone about, so they wrote it. 
This is not meant for teenagers of any age. Who the heck brought this? And whoever thought I wouldn't keep this to read while waiting for the owner to pick up is fairly wrong. So we'll have to wait and see now, now won't we? And that's it for the Lost and Found. Now let's get to today's lunch specials. For healthy, we have chicken apple salad wraps. Choice with or without gluten wraps. For vegan, we have plant burgers with side of veggie fries. Joy. And for regular, we have barbecue pulled pork sandwiches with coleslaw. Yum. Chicken from Earth, pork from Hell, and burgers from Second Haven. And then we have the basics. So let's end today's announcements with a fun fact. Did you know that if you were in a survival situation, that drinking seawater would dehydrate you quickly and thus lead to you dying? But it is less harmful if you ate it frozen. Apparently, it contains a tenth of the salt in its liquid form. That is due to the fact that salt separates when water is freezing as salt does not fit into the crystallization of ice. Fascinating, right? My name is Lexis Amelia Devolo and have a great week. Hey you guys, Ken McAdam here. I hope you enjoyed today's announcements. If you want to keep up to what else we do outside of YouTube, I have a Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. If you want to help support this little channel, I do have a Ko-fi as well as a Patreon. For a dollar, I'll give you a shout out. Speaking of, thank you my Patreons, Mimi, Art, and John. And... If you liked today's episode, hit that like button. If you want to see more, we do have food try videos as well as this podcast. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know when these come out, hit that bell and make a ring. Cause school is in session. Catch you later, students. <laughs>